In this video, we're going to go through some ways to improve your Windows 11 PC's audio performance. To get started, here are some basic tips to keep your Windows machine operating smoothly. Firstly, don't let your computer's boot drive get too full. Always make sure you leave about 20% of your computer's main hard disk free. To see how much storage has been used, click the Windows icon, type and select Settings. Then select Storage. The bar will show how much storage has been used and how much is free. You can remove files you no longer need or move them to external or cloud storage. You can also use the Disk Cleanup tool to remove temporary files and files or folders you no longer need. This can save you lots of space. The cleanup operation could potentially take some time, so only try this if you have time to spare. Next, if you're going to be running large projects involving sample libraries and multiple plugins, we recommend that you have at least 8GB of RAM. Another simple tip, always make sure you're using a suitably short USB cable, ideally the one that comes in the box, or one that is shorter than 2 meters. Also, ensure your interface is connected to its own dedicated USB port. USB hubs are known to cause issues with audio devices. These issues can include noise and connection problems. Therefore, we recommend your interface is connected directly to its own USB port. And finally, if you're using a laptop, make sure that it is plugged into a power source. Now, I'll be showing you some more advanced steps to improve your PC's performance. We'll start off by making sure the software for your Focusrite interface is up to date. All Focusrite device drivers are available on our website by navigating to Downloads and selecting your product. Try to ensure you have the latest version of the Focusrite driver or control software installed. If you experience audio issues with your Focusrite interface, increase the buffer size and test the interface again. To do this, right-click on the Focusrite notifier and select your device's settings. Try increasing the buffer size to 1024. If the performance improves, you can try a lower setting. If you are unsure what buffer size is and how it affects performance, here are some basic rules. When recording audio into your computer or playing sound, the computer needs time to process incoming and outgoing information. This is referred to as the buffer size. Changing the buffer size can help you solve issues you encounter while recording. For example, if you find that you're getting a slight delay while recording, we suggest that you reduce the buffer size. But if you find that during playback your audio seems glitchy, try increasing the buffer size. If you can't see the Focusrite notifier in your taskbar, go to the taskbar in the bottom right corner of your desktop. Click on the upwards facing arrow, locate the Focusrite notifier, Drag and drop the Focusrite notifier into the main area of the taskbar. Windows system sounds can interrupt your recordings. Here's how to disable them. Search in the Start menu for Control Panel. Select Hardware and Sound. Then select Sound. Select the Sounds tab. Click the Sound Scheme drop-down menu and select No Sounds. Click Apply, then OK. Often, your PC will launch programs automatically upon startup. This can negatively affect your computer's performance. Search in the Start menu for Task Manager and open it. Select Startup. Select the Startup Impact tab at the top. This will recategorize the programs in order of their impact. Find the programs you don't want open on Startup, right click them and click Disable. We also strongly recommend disabling Cortana as this program can sometimes attempt to use the inputs on your audio interface at inopportune moments, such as while recording. The USB Selective Suspend feature allows you to disable an individual port, 
without affecting the operation of the other USB ports. However, this feature can be the cause of some issues with USB devices, so we recommend disabling it. Open the Start menu and search for Choose a Power Plan. Click on Change Plan Settings, then Change Advanced Power Settings. Click USB Settings, then click USB Selective Suspend. In this drop-down menu, click Disable. On a laptop, there will be two options, on battery and plugged in. Select Disable for both. These next options are high performance settings. If you're using a laptop, these options can affect your battery life. A high performance power plan. A power plan is a collection of hardware and system settings that manages how your machine uses and conserves power. Search for Choose a Power Plan. In the menu on the left, select Create a Power Plan. Select High Performance. Now give your plan a name. I'm going to use Audio Workstation. For both turn off the display and put the computer to sleep, select Never, then select Create. You will now be on the Power Options page where your new custom power plan will be selected. Select Change Power Plan Settings for your new custom power plan. Open Advanced Power Settings. Expand USB Settings. Disable USB Selective Suspend. If you have a laptop, two options will appear, on battery and plugged in. Select Disable for both. Expand Processor Power Management. Set the minimum and maximum processor state to 100. We'll now optimize how your machine uses USB ports. Search in the Start menu for Device Manager. Select Universal Serial Bus Controllers and expand it. Right-click the first entry and select Properties. Open Power Management. If an entry doesn't have Power Management visible, don't worry. Just ignore this one and move to the next entry. Deselect the option, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Repeat this for each other entry. We hope this video has helped you with your Windows